everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today I am excited. I'm excited every day. But seriously, if you know me in real life, I'm pretty much excited every day. Not all throughout the day, but every day at some point. Today I'm doing the 15 minute no makeup. Wait, that's the wrong one. Let's try it again. Today, I'm really excited to bring to you the 15 minute makeup challenge, Mama Proof. I definitely did this in 15 minutes and I made sure that I used products that were super affordable. You can get them at the drugstore. Majority of, probably with the exception of two, that are higher end, they're all affordable products. This was a requested video, so shout out to Kayla. She wanted to see a video that was quick and easy. I myself am a mother of a five-year-old, so I definitely understand where that need came from. As well as I think it's really important that women remember to take care of themselves at any age. I know that in our 20s, it's kind of like, yeah, of course, I, you wanna look your best for some reason. And then as, as you hit your 30s and then you're going to your 40s, we seem to take care of ourselves less and less. And so you owe it to yourself to give yourself at least 15 minutes to make yourself feel beautiful. Taking care of yourself is not vain at all. It is a matter of you honoring yourself and making yourself look and feel your best. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so let's start off by setting the timer right here. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. I think this is essential even if you're doing a simple makeup look because this is gonna make sure that your makeup lasts all day. I'm starting off with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Everything I'm using is gonna be in the description box below. Then after that, before I go in with my foundation, I'm going to use another NYX product, which is going to be con correcting the discoloration under my eyes. I have a lot of bluish tinge <laughs> underneath there. So if you are a mother who is up all night with their babies or you just don't get enough sleep, this is a good thing to go for. I use it in the color medium and I just feel like it just completely knocks out that blue tinge underneath. I'll use the Real Techniques foundation brush, but after that, when I really want to just make sure that it's blended correctly, I use my finger so it just warms up the product and make sure it blends. And yes, I had primer on my nose, and yeah, I was kind of embarrassed at the end of it, but whatever. The show must go on. <laughs> so then I'll go ahead and I'll mix two colors for my foundation. One will be the L'Oreal uh, Infallible Matte in 107 and the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline in color 128. I know I look crazy yellow right now, but that's kind of, I, I carry a lot of yellow pigment in my skin already, and my body's still carrying on to the summer tan that I had, and my face forgot to catch up to that. So, moving along, putting the foundation on my face, I'm using the Morphe M43 buffing brush. I, this is a new brush for me, and I love it. I know a lot of people, when they're trying to do a quick makeup look, don't you know, gravitate towards liquid foundation, but I find with this brush, it gives me a nice, quick, even application of full coverage. And, you know, if you got your face looking really clear and beautiful, anything that you put on it, even at the most minimal amount of makeup, is gonna look great. So now I'll go in and I'm going to put my actual concealer color in. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Light. And I will take a Real Techniques Complexion Sponge and I will just go ahead and pat that right in. I like this be color because it's going to give me a little bit of light underneath my eyes, brighten that area up, and this concealer is amazing. It's going to give you a light to medium coverage, so if you're looking for a more heavy, you know, fuller coverage under the eye, this wouldn't be your main squeeze right here. But for me, I find that it's really good for under eyes and it's also really great for around the face. Like right here, I'm using it to just brighten up that center of my face so it can give it a little bit of dimension um, so I don't have to like worry about like contouring. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and my under eye with Laura Mercier's Translucent Setting Powder. This is going to make sure that my makeup lasts all day, that there's no creasing going on. An important step if, let's say, you are not about to retouch any part of your face, <laughs> make sure you set it, especially if you are a um, combination oily skin type girl like myself. This is an important step. 
Tom Flo is about to head into town pretty soon, so I have a couple of breakouts in my face, but to not despair, my face is starting to look a little bit clearer, so I am happy with that. Now I'm gonna catch some flack for this, and yes, I am gonna fill in my eyebrows. Now I'm not gonna do a dramatic full on brow. I'm just gonna clean up some spaces where there's patchiness, because brows are such an essential part of framing your face, making your face just look more polished and refined. You know, if you did like foundation, brows, mascara, and gloss, you're pretty much golden right there. Unless you have like a nice glow, maybe some bronzer and blush. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> maybe you need a whole face. But brows are super, super important. And I think a lot of people, when they're doing like a quick, simple look, this is a step they often miss. And it's such a shame because to me, this actually like makes the look is the brow. If you have some really nice full brows or brows that you're pretty content with, you can actually skip this step and save yourself like five minutes. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Chocolate. I really like this pencil even though she came out with a newer one, the Brow Definer. I haven't tried it yet, but this one has been an oldie and a goodie. So if you're looking for a brow pencil that's going to be easy to use, this will be like your new loyal friend. So yeah, give it a try. All the steps I'm showing you in this video is pretty much kind of like a template for you to follow so you can get, you know, a fresh face in very little time. So you can always swap out colors according to your attire if you want to work with browns or pinks or whatever the case may be. Um, try to stick to colors that are really flattering to your skin tone, undertone, and things like that, whether you're, you know, a, a cool tone or a warm tone. You know, for me, I am a warm, really warm, <laughs> yellowy skin tone, so warmer colors seem to suit me very nicely. So now I'm going to go in and I am going to use a NYX bronzer. It's, the, it's their darkest color bronzer. And I'm going to lightly go ahead and just warm up my face. Speaking of warming up, I'm going to give it a little bit of dimension. And one of the things I like to do is I like to sweep that bronzer color right over my eyes so that I don't have to worry too much about crease and transitional colors. It's just going to give me a little bit of depth right there already. On my eyes, I'm only going to use two colors. So to add a little bit more depth in the crease area, I'm going to use Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. And I'm going to use a dome-shaped fluffy brush to go ahead and buff that into the crease. I'm actually thinking about making a video on just brushes, like the essentials, as like an, a guide for makeup. So let me know in the comments below if that's something that interests you. So L'Oreal came out with a bunch of single eyeshadows that are the part of their infallible line that I just love. And they're super affordable. This color is called Amber Rush. And they have a bunch of different colors that they're super pigmented. I love this color because I feel like it's such a great everyday wearable color. It does have a little shine to it, but that's okay because pretty much the rest of the look is so flat that you kind of want a little bit of that highlighting going, a little bit of depth and dimension throughout the face. And I think that this is a really nice place to just pop a little color, add a little shine, and it kind of really brightens the eye and wakes up the whole eye area. I am a natural lash wearer, <laughs> meaning my own. So I try to get as much out of these bad boys as I possibly can. So I definitely curl before I apply my mascara. And for my mascara, I love to use primers. Like It's like the best little cup secret for mascara is using a primer. So I'm going to use L'Oreal Superstar um, Dual Mascara. As you can see, this one's kind of, this is the primer, it's the white one. And I won't, I'm not a big fan of the other side. So honestly, I actually don't really use it. And to be all honest, I probably won't repurchase this product. I will just buy a primer on its own. So next, I'm going to use Telescopic, which is my favorite mascara. I usually use Carbon Black, but that color was out for several weeks. So I just picked up their basic black color. And if I didn't mention it before, L'Oreal actually makes Telescopic. It's been voted like the most popular, best mascara 
I actually don't know where it's been voted at, but you know what? I hear it everywhere and everybody loves it. So to my world, it's the best <laughs> drugstore mascara uh, that you can purchase at the moment. I think a lot of women try to skip mascara when they're thinking, I'll just put a little bit of color on. And to me, mascara is going to open up those eyes, brighten them, make them look more awake. So definitely don't skip this step. You know, if you want to like cut back at some other ones, fine, but put some mascara on, ladies. Put it on. It's my mother who made me so obsessed with lashes. Like, I'll spend a good solid three minutes just doing my lashes. My mother has the most beautiful long lashes, and I'm always trying to cheat my way into a replica of hers. <laughs> All right, once I'm done with these doggone lashes, I will move on to cheeks. And I'm going to use a Morphe E4 brush, awesome new brush that I just purchased. And I am going to use the color Cabo Cabana from e.l.f. Cosmetics. e.l.f. is a really affordable brand. I know Target is recently carrying them, most Targets at least. I've even seen it like at some random places like Old Navy, but their price range is usually from a $1 collection, then they have a $3 collection up to about $6. This also includes brushes. So yeah, give them a look-see next time you're in. So now I'll move into lips. If you do not have insanely crooked lips like I do, then by all means skip this step. But I'm gonna line my lips with Rimmel's Wild Clove Liner. Yeah, it's just, it's sad, guys. I mean, I got big lips, but they're crooked as hell. Guys, I am nearly done, and I am only at 10 minutes. And there were so many steps that I told you guys you could skip. So I'm telling you, the excuses are dwindling as time progresses. <laughs> So now I'll actually add a lip color. This is from NYX. I swear, it's there's like NYX is everywhere in this video today. The color is Stockholm, and it's from their Soft Matte Lip Creams. I love their Soft Matte Lip Creams. I am actually going to do a video and swatches of a bunch of colors from them. But yeah, so this is the look. It To me, it looks super natural. I don't think that even though I spent some time at it, I don't think that I look like... I spent hours doing my makeup. I've spent less than 10 minutes. I'm also putting a little bit of highlight, actually. This is from e.l.f. as well. It's actually a blush from them. It's a baked blush, and it is in the color Pinktastic. So, yeah, that completes the look. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No. I'm saying hold on. Why am I telling me to hold on? I'm not sure. Why are we holding on, Raquel? What are we opening? Oh, I needed more blush. I just felt like I was a little barefaced, but... <laughs> Yeah, anyways, yeah, this is the look. It's so super simple. 11 minutes, almost 12 minutes. Look at me, I'm so joyous. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of little shimmies to the left and to the right so you can get a good look-see. And yeah, we out, people. And that's it, folks. <laughs>